Behold, he comes riding on the clouds, shining like the sun. At the trumpet sound, lift your voice. It's the year of Jubilee, and out of Zion's hills, salvation comes. You know, it's interesting to know that this is also the year of perfect Jubilee for the redeemed Christian Church of God. Today's review is quite interesting and welcome to it. Today is the 28th of October 2022 and our topic is Behold He Comes. Indeed, Jesus Christ is coming. It's the year of Jubilee, the year of perfect Jubilee and that should be really, really on our hearts. Praise God. Our Bible text today is from Revelations chapter 22 from verse 6 to 12. I'm going to read verse 6 and 7 and then I'm going to go down and read verse 12 and read from the New King James Version, Revelations 22, 6, 7 and 12. Then he said to me, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. In verse 12, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. In our Bible text today, verse 7 and verse 12, we have the Lord Jesus Christ saying to us, Behold, I come quickly. Behold, I come quickly. It's not going to be long now. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. And it is amazing to know that a lot of Christians, those who say they are children of God, are not even ready for his coming. Yes, it's important for us to preach the gospel, to go into the world and preach this good news to every creature under heaven, as many as possible, to get them into the fold. But those of us that are already claiming to be children of God, are we really ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus? Most of the time, it seems like as Christians, we are focusing on what we can do here, on what we can achieve with the blessing of God upon our lives, on what the anointing of God can, you know, the kind of breakthroughs that the anointing of God can cause for us. And we're thinking about, you know, dominating the earth, influencing sectors and industries. We're thinking of establishing the mountain of the house of the Lord upon all the mountains of the earth. Yes, indeed, it is true and important that all of these things need to be done. However, when all is said and done, our destination is still heaven. Jesus Christ is coming and is coming soon. And it's coming for his bride. It's coming for his people. The Bible says, let him who names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Because indeed the Lord knows those who are his own. Are you really, really, really a child of God? In the corners and crevices of your heart, in those private moments, in your closet, in those times that nobody's seeing what you're doing. Of course, no one can hear your thoughts. Are you a child of God in those moments? Jesus Christ knows his bride. He knows his bride in and out. He knows what his bride is thinking. He knows what his bride is spending her time doing. And all of these things, what you're thinking, what you're doing, what you're spending your life on, is it something Jesus Christ is proud of? It is time for us to begin to, you know, take stock of how we're living our lives. Yes, when we give our life to Christ, indeed, we have access to eternal life. But it is true that we can also lose our salvation on the journey. That song that I sang earlier said, indeed, it's the year of Jubilee. Out of Zion's hills, salvation comes. When salvation has come to you, you should ensure that it resides with you and you don't lose it. Working out your salvation with fear and trembling continually. I pray that we will not be distracted in the name of Jesus. 
Indeed, when a man has laid his hands on the plow, he shouldn't look back. Are you looking back? Are you getting carried away by, you know, wealth and fame and the attention that you're getting from the anointing of God that is upon your life? Begin to check yourself. Begin to take stock of how you are living. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 says that and as it is appointed unto men once to die but after that judgment so every one of us will die and will come and if end doesn't come for you well Jesus Christ will certainly come and that should be something we should never forget let us pray father in the name of Jesus we ask oh God that you help us to live our lives knowing fully well that you are coming back, knowing fully well that you will ask us to take stock of how we have lived the life, the moments, the blessings, the increase, the anointing that you've given to us. Thank you, Father, because you have called our attention to this and we will begin to live right even from this moment if we have strayed in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Father, for we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Make sure you're not left behind. Jesus Christ is coming soon.